CataractCoach.com. Using the power pre-chopper allows the chopper to penetrate even a dense nucleus. And our guest surgeon is Dr. Luis Escoff from Barranquilla, Colombia. So there's the cataract, a lot of poster subcapsular changes. You notice the video overlay here. Using this 3D heads-up system, he's able to overlay the axes or meridians for astigmatism. And also, you can see there's the center of the eye. Now, he just uses the keratome to go ahead and cut into that anterior lens capsule and flip it up. So a novel way of doing it, and certainly an easy way, saving a step. It certainly requires some skill and some practice, but that's a beautiful result. Now, switching over to the forceps, you can create a nice round capsule axis. And you can see a guide can be given by this heads-up display, and the, also the center of the eye is known at all times. So this is a useful device here, and that looks like a beautiful capsule rexus. Hydro dissection now, and so you'll see the hydro dissection going in all quadrants. Now this pre-chopper that he's going to use has one difference compared to most, and that is it uses ultrasonic energy. In other words, it's basically attached like you would attach a needle to the phaco tip, and you can use ultrasonic energy to help this chopper penetrate even a very dense nucleus. Now this nucleus doesn't have too much nuclear density, but there's that chopper, you see it's attached to the phaco tip, it doesn't aspirate at all. You use the infusion to keep the eye inflated, and then the ultrasonic energy will help drive this into even a very dense nucleus. So there's that device, and this is invented by Dr. Escaf, and he'll rotate the nucleus around a little bit here. You just gotta be very careful in the way you place this. So he's obviously an expert at this. So you can see that pre chopper is placed, it goes right through the nucleus, and you can just split the nucleus into pieces very easily. It is a power pre chopper, you can tell. And then you can rotate the nucleus, and you can do it again. And you can subdivide the nucleus into smaller pieces. So here we go, chopper going through it, actually just using the, second, the right hand as a second hand now. So the power pre chopper was used for the first piece, or the first split, and now, even without extra power, it can be split quite easily. Now, once you have the four quarters, it's time to change out that phaco tip to the regular phaco needle. And there you go. The pieces can then be aspirated very easily. This uh, surgeon here is using a very high flow, similar to what I use, and you can see it makes very short work of that lens nucleus. Now, cortical cleanup happening here with that polymer IA tip. Nice and easy. Second hand is being used to just help fixate the eye, help the patient stay in that primary position, makes it a little bit easier. And just care taken to very gently remove the cortex. And you can see it's a nice looking capsorexis, and this lens is going to go in the bag very easily. And so this heads-up display also, I've, we've tried it at our own center. It tends to be a little bit bulky for normal everyday use, and for a five or 10 minute cataract surgery, uh, we don't find it super useful. But with newer technologies, important to try all of them. And maybe in the future, we will have other more advanced technologies on here that may make it useful. Here's the trifocal lens going in the bag, and it's being delivered very nicely, nicely injected. Place that in the capsule bag. And now here's where something's useful. You can line up the IOL center using the marks of the overlay. So there are the haptics being opened in the capsule bag. This is a non-toric lens. There are no toric markings on it. But you can see we, it's very important to get that center of the trifocal lens beautifully aligned. And we typically do it using the Purkinje images. And then we do check patients in the pre-op period to make sure there's no excessive angle alpha or angle kappa. Important there, removing all that viscoelastic from behind the lens, that looks great. Important to do that. And here you can see centration. Look at the Purkinje images beautifully lined up and the overlay agrees with us and says that looks perfect. Patient had a beautiful outcome and you can see that capsorexis overlaps the optic very nicely. So check out the pre-chopper that he's designed. It's useful in certain cases. And uh, thank you for watching cataractcoach.com. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. 
You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?